Hello. Um, so this is on basic etiquette for a business dinner. Eating with someone you don't know well in a professional environment is a tricky situation. On one hand, you're trying to get to know the person better, but on the other hand, you're also worried about what your eating habits say about you. The most important thing to remember is that you're not there for the food. You are there for the business. A business lunch or dinner is a great opportunity um, to let your professionalism shine. Whether you're going to a, steak a local steakhouse or dining abroad. While business dining etiquette rules can vary country to country, the general guidelines remain the same. Practice good manners and use common sense. So this has a lot of tips and stuff for that. So number one is the host should always be in charge. This means picking the an appropriate restaurant and making reservations ahead of time, which is especially important if you're having a business lunch or dinner when it can be busy. The last thing you want to be told is that there isn't a table available for you and your guest. Once you're seated, you need to take charge of the logistics of the meal. This means directing your guests to their seats or recommending menu items in various price ranges. Two, before the meal, um, shake hands with anyone already seated at the table. So if necessary, introduce yourself. Be sure to remain standing until your host sits. Once you sit down, place your napkin on your lap only after everyone is seated and your host has moved his or her napkin. If someone arrives to the table after you do, it's polite to stand up and greet them. So three, never pull out someone's chair for them. It's okay to hold a open a door for your guest, but you shouldn't pull out someone's chair uh, regardless of gender. Both men and women can pull out their own chairs. In a business setting, you should leave the, the old social gender rules behind. When the waiter approaches the table, um, don't ask him to explain everything on the menu. One or two items are okay, especially if you have a food allergy or a dietary restriction, such as gluten intolerance and need clarifications on a dish. If you appear too picky or indecisive, your peers may become annoyed. Uh, next, consider the restaurant when figuring out dietary restrictions. Most people do not impose their dietary choices on others. Nevertheless, you can often judge what to order by the type of restaurant the host chooses. For example, if your boss is a vegetarian but chooses to meet at a steakhouse, by all means, you can order the steak. Um, but follow your host's lead. If they're first in line to order, choose something similar to what they order. For example, if they opt for a salad, try not to go for the prime rib. Um, if the host isn't first in line to order, then ask for his or her recommendation. And of course, don't order the most expensive thing on the menu. Um, ordering foods that are easy to eat, such as chicken, fish, and salad, avoid dishes that have a messy reputation, such as spaghetti or a greasy burger, as it hard as it may be to resist. As mentioned above, it's best to follow the host's lead when it comes to ordering an alcoholic beverage. If you choose to drink, limit yourself to one beer or a glass of wine. Next, know your utensils proper location. Um, want to an easy trick for remembering where the utensils go, all you need to remember is that left has four letters and right has five. Food is placed on the left of the dining plate. Uh, the word food and left each have four letters. If the table is set properly, your bread and salad um, or any other food dishes we place on the left of your dining plate. Similarly, drinks are placed on the right of the dining plate and the words um, glass and right contain five letters. Any glass um, or drink will be placed on the right side of the dining table. Left and right also work for utensils. Your fork, four letters, goes on the left. Your knife and spoon, which are both five letters, go on the right. So another thing is to know which utensils to use. Each course um, should have its own utensil and all of them may already be in front of you or will be placed in front of you as the dishes are served. In that case, uh, in the case that all the utensils are there in the beginning of the meal, a good general rule is to start with the utensil on the outside and work your way in as the meal goes on. The largest fork is generally the entree fork, the salad fork is smaller, the largest spoon is usually a soup spoon. Uh, if you're having like a fish course, you may use the fish knife and fork as part of the place setting. The utensils above uh, the plate are the dessert fork and spoon, although these may sometimes be placed 
on either side of the plate and brought in with the dessert. So think BMW to remember where plates and glasses go. Another trick for remembering proper placement of plates and glasses is simple. Remember the mnemonic BMW, which stands for bread, meal, water. Your bread and butter plate is on the left, the meal is on the, in the middle, and your water glass is on the right. Um, the other thing is drink from your own water glass. Um, make sure you don't accidentally you know, grab somebody else's and something like that. Um, another tip is to try a little bit of everything on your plate, unless you have a food allergy. Um, you could come across as unsophisticated and juvenile if you eat all your steak and potatoes and ignore your veggies. If your food served is not to your liking, it is plain to at least attempt to eat a small amount of it. Additionally, don't overindulge or ask to finish somebody else's food. Um, another tip is to cut only enough food for the next mouthful. Cut no more than a few bites of food at a time. Eat in small bites and slowly. Don't play with your food or utensils. Never wave or point silverware and do not hold your fork. Uh, hold food on your fork or spoon while talking. Another tip is to just avoid talking about religion, politics, and other controversial topics. Um, also, you want to know your rest and finished positions. So place your knife and fork in the rest position, which is the knife on top of the plate, and the fork across the middle of the plate. Uh, so let the waiter know you are resting. Use the finished position, which is a fork below the knife, diagonally across the plate, to indicate that you have finished eating. Another tip is do not push away or stack your dishes. Um, do not use the napkin as a tissue. The napkin should be only be used for blotting the sides of your mouth. If you need to blow your nose, excuse yourself and go to the bathroom. A cough or a sneeze should also be directed into your left shoulder, shielded by your left arm, uh, keeping your right hand germ-free. So, like that. Uh, avoid using your napkin as a tissue. Speaking of germs, if you drop your fork on the floor and leave it there, it is not necessary to dive under the table and fetch it. Simply ask your server for a new utensil and encourage the rest of your group um, to continue eating. If you need to leave the table during the meal, place your napkin on your chair and push the chair back under the table. Uh, there's no need to announce where you are going, what you will be doing when you get there. Um, and also, your mother's request when you are a kid works here too. Keep your elbows um, off the table. It's also courteous never to talk with food in your mouth. Uh, and also, never ask for a to-go box. You are there for the business, not the leftovers. Doggy bags are okay for family dinners, but not during professional occasions. Um, and this one says the host should always pay, but I have been to business meetings where it was pay for yourself, so... But this could also can be tricky. If you did the inviting, you were the host, and you should be paying the bill regardless of gender. But what if a male guest wants to pay? A woman does have the, some choices. She can say, oh, it's not me, it's the firm that is paying. Or she can excuse herself from the table and pay the bill away from the guest. This option works for men as well. However, the bottom line is that you don't want to fight over a bill. If a male guest insists on paying despite a female host's best effort, let him pay. Um, and also, always, this is the last one, always say please and thank you to your wait staff. Do not complain or criticize the service or food. Your complaints will appear negative and it is an insult to the host to criticize. So, thank you for watching.